Hi, welcome back to my mom life. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Jordan and today I'm showing you how I make biscuits and gravy. This is how I do it. There are so many ways you can do this. You can do canned biscuits or bisquick if you want. So you don't have to make my biscuits um, the way I do, but I highly recommend making homemade sausage gravy. So we're gonna start by making our biscuits. Let's get started. Here are the ingredients to make these homemade biscuits. I have one and a half sticks of butter that I have cut into little cubes like this. And you want these super cold so you could pop these in the freezer until you're ready to make um, the biscuits or if it's gonna be a while, just keep it in the fridge. Just so that they're really cold, the little cubes of butter, you're going to need some baking powder and some cream of tartar, some salt, an egg. We're gonna need some milk. And I have some flour and a little bit of sugar. We are going to start by putting all of our dry ingredients in a bowl. I do have a pastry blender or pastry cutter here. This is to combine the butter with the dry ingredients. You could also use a fork if you don't have one of these. So I'm going to put three cups of flour in my bowl. And then you just wanna move your flour to the side. You're gonna need some in a little bit to put on your countertop or whatever you're going to roll um, your biscuit dough out onto. So I'm just gonna set that to the side. You need three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. You need a whole tablespoon plus, a tea, um, plus half a teaspoon, sorry. One tablespoon plus half a teaspoon of baking powder. We need three quarters of a teaspoon of cream of tartar. Now I'm just gonna take a fork and give this a good mix. I have my oven, whoops, I have my oven preheating to 400 degrees. Now you want to take your cold butter and we're gonna do what is called cutting in, which means you're just gonna <clears throat> take something like this or a fork and work this butter into the flour until you get like little pebbles. So I'm gonna do this and I will show you what it's supposed to look like. You just keep working it until all that butter gets incorporated and you'll have little pea-sized pieces of butter worked in with the flour. You could also do this step in a food processor if you have one. That would make it super quick to just pulse it in a food processor until your butter is um, in like little pea sized balls. That looks pretty good, so I'll try and show you. There's little bits of butter in there that are worked in. They're like that size. That's what you're looking for all throughout. That's gonna give you like pockets of butter in there. It's gonna keep your biscuits flaky and buttery and tender. So now we're gonna add our milk. So I'm gonna measure out my milk and then I'm going to so it's one cup plus a couple tablespoons. So I'm just gonna eyeball the, the tablespoons. And then I'm just gonna crack my egg in here. And I'm gonna mix that up until the egg is all combined in the milk. That way it's easier to mix into our flour. 
Okay. Now, I'm just gonna add that in. And I'm just gonna use my fork and gently kind of fold that in. Okay, now it's not fully combined, but I'm going to knead it on a floured surface so I don't want to overwork it in the bowl. So I'm just going to um, get it to this point and then I'm going to flour my countertop and we're going to turn this out onto the countertop and knead it for just a few times and then we'll roll it out. Okay, I have my flour here, so I'm just going to sprinkle some on my countertop. This is clean, so don't worry. And then I'm going to turn all of this out onto the countertop. And I'm just going to fold it over and knead it just a few times. You don't want to overwork the dough, but you definitely want to um, get it worked together. I can see it some butter in there. That's what you want. You want to see chunks of butter in your dough. It's going to be delicious. So now I'm going to get my rolling pin and roll this out and then we will cut our biscuits. Okay, you don't want to roll it too thin because you don't want to have super thin biscuits. Um, so you're going to roll it about a half inch thick. And then this is my biscuit cutter. So I'm just going to take it and cut out my biscuits. And then I'm going to push this all back together. You don't want to overwork it, but you don't want to waste any of this dough. So I'm just going to kind of work it back together just a little bit. And then roll it back out. At this point, I kind of just take what I have left and put it into the size of a biscuit and make the last few by hand just so that I'm not completely overworking that dough. And these won't be the prettiest ones, but that's okay. They still will taste good and you're not wasting any dough. Okay, so I'm gonna clean my countertop off and then I will get my cookie sheet and we are ready to bake. Okay, so I'm going to oops, pop my biscuits on an ungreased cookie sheet and I just leave a teeny tiny bit of space. I kind of like them touching. So once they puff up in the oven, they will touch a little bit. And then I have one final trick. I like to take some heavy cream and just a brush like this and brush some heavy cream on the top of the biscuits before they bake. It helps them get nice and golden brown in the oven. You could also, if you don't have any heavy cream, do some melted butter. So I'm going to brush this on. Kind of made a mess there, but you're just gonna brush it on and then pop these into the 400 degree oven and these will take about 12 minutes in the oven to get nice and golden brown. Okay, now that we've made our biscuits, it's time to make our sausage gravy. So I have 
One pound of breakfast sausage. This is just pork sausage. I have some salt, flour, some milk, butter, and pepper. And this is everything that you need to make sausage gravy. So I'm gonna take you to the stove and we're gonna get to making this gravy. Okay, so I have my cast iron skillet here and I'm getting it hot and I'm gonna add in my sausage and cook that up first. thing with this gravy is that I never measure anything. I make this a lot. My husband really likes this, so um, I don't measure, but I will try and have a recipe written out for you in the description box for both the biscuits and the gravy. So you're going to break up your sausage and let it get nice and browned and cooked. Okay, my sausage is cooked, so I'm gonna go ahead and add in some butter. Now there are so many ways you can do this. This is just how I do it. Um, I'm gonna turn my heat down. And you do get a little bit, or quite a lot of grease from the sausage, but I add in butter as well, just to make a good roux with the flour. If you wanted to, you could take your sausage out before you make the roux and the gravy and then add it back in, but I just do it all at once, it's fine. So I'm gonna add in, whoops, that's about two and a half tablespoons or three tablespoons of butter. Let's call it three tablespoons. <laughs> and then I'm gonna add in three tablespoons of flour once this butter melts. So I just kind of push the sausage to one side and kind of keep the fat on this side, I mean, it really is all going to get mixed together anyways, so it doesn't matter. But just to get that flour incorporated first into the fat, I push everything kind of to one side. Once you have that flour and that butter combined, go ahead and stir it all together. I let this cook for just a couple of minutes before I add my milk, just to kind of cook out some of that flour taste. Um, and then we'll add our milk in, add some salt and pepper, and then it is pretty much ready once it thickens up. Okay, I have four cups of milk. I'm going to add it slowly. I may only add three cups of that. We'll see how this thickens up. So you wanna have your heat on medium low to low, just so you don't scald your milk. And I'm gonna get uh, let this come up to a simmer and then it will start to thicken pretty quickly. And then we'll add some salt and pepper. My biscuits are done. It took about 15 minutes this time. I don't know, sometimes I feel like they cook faster. <laughs> I guess it depends on maybe the temperature in the house and stuff, but they are done. So we're just waiting on our sausage gravy and then we are ready to eat. Okay, so I'm gonna add in half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of pepper. You add maybe a quarter teaspoon of pepper. We'll see. You add what you like because, um, you know, everybody has different ideas of what is too salty and what is not. So. I'm going to add those seasonings and then as soon as it is just a tiny bit thicker then it is done. Okay, our biscuits and gravy is done. 
You can see the layers in our biscuits. That is from not overworking our dough and having that butter in there. It just creates those little pockets of air that makes these nice flaky layers. These are so yummy and delicious. And then we have our creamy sausage gravy. If you've never had biscuits and gravy, then you are missing out. And I hope that you try this. If you have tried to make biscuits and gravy at home, let me know what you do different. And like I said, you don't have to make homemade biscuits. Just the gravy homemade is like absolutely a must. You must make homemade gravy. But um, whatever biscuits you want, these are just what I make. So I hope that you try this. If you do, leave me a comment and let me know what you think. If you're new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. I will see you all in my next one. Bye, guys.